say good morning and welcome to today's edition of Sunday Church. We greatly encourage you by all your presence here on this morning. I greet you this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is our God and through him we do badly. This is the day that the Lord has made. I do rejoice and I am glad in it and you should as well. Amen. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Amen. For this he that has made us and not we ourselves and it is by his hand that we are fed oh magnify the lord with me amen for the lord has been good we hope and trust and pray that you had a good week this past week amen and if you didn't guess what we made it amen we get a fresh start on today to start over again with the week of fresh to begin with the word of god begin with the presence of god amen so we thank god for this opportunity to be together uh, we begin with prayer here at the fellowship, amen, that's what we do, not just out of traditional rope, but we do it because our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ says that his house shall be called a house of prayer. So we pray in God's house, amen, and we fight together, the devil together, amen, corporately, which means the other way to say together, amen, every time that we come together, amen. Why do we fight them together, amen, because we are together, so we lift our voices in unity to pray together. If you would like a copy of these prayers that are about to be prayed, uh, if you join us on Facebook, you can simply just email us. I'm sorry, you, you can uh, inbox us. I'm sorry there. Amen. And give us your email address and we'll be more than happy to get a copy of these prayers uh, to you. Amen. It's important that you pray and fight the devil every day. Amen. Because he's fighting and has a plan against you every day too. Amen. So we counterattack and come against uh, the attacks of the enemy. Amen. Because we've already been made more than conquerors through him that loved us, who is Jesus uh, the Christ. Amen. So we'll begin this morning uh, with the prayer, praise, and healing morning prayers, making a covenant with God from February the 5th, 2023. And as you repeat these prayers after me, if you're there or joining us on Facebook, Remember, she should have these prayers 2 5 2023 is the day uh, for these uh, sets of prayers. I'll read that Psalm 21, verses 1 through 5. And it says, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointing, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision, and he shall speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore this pleasure. Psalm 71, 21, you shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Amen. The prayers begin on page two. Amen. So let's begin. Oh Lord, connect us with the people that matter this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise and order our steps this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our legs, hear the word of the Lord, carry us to the place where God wants us to be this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this year, we will get to the right position. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Father, redeem us from the power of death, doom and disaster. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this year, the storms of life will not sweep us away in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare that all our attorneys this year will be safe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, arise and anoint every part of our bodies with strength and health in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We preserve our lives, O Lord, from all sickness this year and all the days of our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh God, arise and give us divine power to produce wealth this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This year, we shall not fall from grace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, we shall be surrounded by your wall of fire throughout this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every financial hindrance plan for us this year be scattered to oblivion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every atmosphere of 
leave over our lives. We blow you away in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the angels of God be installed as the gatekeepers of our habitation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This year, satanic nightmares will not harm us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This year, every enemy of our lives will stumble, fall, and be unable to recover themselves in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No divination, no enchantment from evil men will work against us and our families in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let every lost opportunity find us this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Weeping and oppression of the night must die today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We command our portion to be released this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Decision and judgment of the council of hell against our lives, we terminate you now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We receive our daily increase and enlargement this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Darkness should have no portion in our lives this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh God, arise and pull us out of every evil foundation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Seven spirits of God manifest in our lives and everyone seeking to take our lives begin to kill themselves right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every trap prepared for us by the enemy, turn around and catch your owner in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We command the baptism of madness and backwardness to fall upon all our stubborn enemies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our testimonies will not be silenced or buried in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. I will not suffer what we will not suffer what our parents suffer, and our children will not suffer what we have suffered in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See them untie the death, dissipate in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See the greatness in our lives manifest in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This year, wealth and riches shall be in our houses in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. This year, we shall no fear of bad news, misfortune, or any evil in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This year, we shall triumph over all evil forces in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This year, our lives shall be a model for success and breakthroughs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh God, arise and arrest the rest of our prosperity in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh, thou that trouble the Israel of Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church, the God of Elijah shall trouble you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every enemy of the Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church, scatter in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh God, arise and uproot anything you do not plant inside Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church and the church worldwide in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the fire revival fall upon Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church and the church worldwide in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God for your presence. If you're there on Facebook, we thank God for you. We are back here in our physical location. If you're here in town or visiting town, please uh, come to see us. We're located at 1180 Washington Boulevard, Beaumont, Texas. We're here at Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. Sundays at 8.30 a.m. If you have not done so, please share uh, this Facebook Live to your news feed. And thank you for those that consistently uh, do that. Uh, every time that we have worship, we appreciate you as well. But you're more than welcome to join us here. Uh, in the physical location, we've been here uh, not quite a month yet. We've been back in the building, amen. So we thank God it'll be a month uh, this coming uh, Monday. So we thank God for his faithfulness and getting us back here, amen. It's by his grace and his grace alone, amen, that we are here, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We pray the prayers for the family deliverance from December the 7th, uh, 2022. Uh, next, uh, these prayers are from December the 7th, 2022. Amen. Amen. Reading 
Psalm 91 to you as you're locating them. I that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say that the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowl and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover me with His feathers, and out of His wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the air that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand fall on my side and ten thousand in my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked, as I made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, my habitation. There's no evil before me, neither shall any plague come down my dwelling. But he shall give his angels charge over me, to keep me in all my ways. He shall bear me up in their hands, as I dash my foot against the stone. I shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall I travel under my feet. Because I set my love upon him, therefore he deliver me. He will set me on high because I know his name. I will call upon him, and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver and honor me. For long life will he satisfy me and show me his salvation. These prayers are about prayer. December the 7th, 2022. Prayers for family deliverance. Prayers for family deliverance. This day, we plug into the socket of divine favor by the power and the blood of our Lord Jesus. Every good door ever close against our destiny to open my fire today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every dark power assigned to restructure our destinies. This very day, the God of Elijah that answers by fire shall destroy you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the blood of our Lord Jesus, this day, God's angels of destruction shall visit all our stubborn enemies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O oh God, arise and let every grip of satanic influence of our families be broken and destroyed by fire. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every covenant of poverty and affliction in our family bloodline be broken and destroyed today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the word of the Lord that will come to us today, shall we write our family history in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our families, our families, our families. Hear the word of the Lord. Receive strength and power to prosper in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh God, arise and uproot anything. If you're not planning inside Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church and the church worldwide, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh God, let the fire revival fall upon Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church and the church worldwide, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every voice of poverty over our families be silenced forever in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every arrow of poverty flying in our territories make your sender your victim in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus the Christ, I break and destroy every curse of poverty pronounced on our families in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every covenant of poverty made with the waters and grounds of our family territories be broken and destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh God, prosper us and our families in this land and cause us to be blessed abundantly in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every negative pattern, character, negative characteristics, negative behaviors, and bad habits flowing down from our family tree we come against you with the blood of our Lord Jesus and shake you off our family trees and be destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our cryptic demons and ancient dedications trouble our family bloodlines vanish in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every satanic animal living around our family trees catch fire and die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fire regards to the wicked targeting our family bloodlines backfire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh, heavens, over the prosperity of our families, open by fire, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We refuse to be an extension of any failure of our father's house, 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any iniquity that swallowed any of our ancestors will not swallow us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All territorial spirits delegated against our families fall down and die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let lightning and thunder and fire shoot out arrows to destroy every satanic monitoring device working against our families in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All satanic traps placed on our family bloodline be destroyed by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every problem avoiding the plans of God for our families fall down and die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any wicked and evil words spoken into the sun and moon against our family bloodlines be destroyed by the power of the blood of our Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every power drawing power from the heavens against our family bloodlines fall down and die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I put off the head of the Goliath of our family bloodline in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the friends of darkness in our family bloodline be exposed to disgrace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every anti-prosperity curse flowing down from our family bloodline be broken and destroyed by the power of the blood of our Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every spirit of limitation flowing down from our family tree die now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every financial handicap flowing from down from our family tree die now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every curse of untimely death connected to our family tree break and be destroyed by the power of the blood of our Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of our Lord Jesus scrub the filthiness of our family bloodline in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You strong man supervising the wolves in our family tree fall down to the dust and be buried in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, as we are here today, let the anointing for our come a breakthrough come upon us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any evil thing buried in the ground, in the water, or the heaven is against us. O wrath of the God of Elijah, excavate each one and burn them to ashes in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, our Father, our Father, touch us with your hands of favor today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every concluded work of the enemy against our family bloodline, O God, arise and terminate them today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You strong man, using the earth to delay our manifestations, hear the word of the Lord. The earth shall open and swallow you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every decision of any COVID against the success of our family bloodline, O death angel arise and kill them today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the evil powers of our Father's house, using elements to curse our families, your time is up. Today, the thunder power of God shall destroy you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the wicked powers that have determined that my star will not shine, O God, arise in your anger and terminate them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every bewitchment fashioned against us and our families Die to death in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O earth arise, open and swallow any power petitioning you to swallow the glory God has put on our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any battle that has refused to let go of the glory of our families, O fire of God, pursue them out of our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O God arise and command your garment of mercy upon us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh God, empower us to pursue your call upon our lives and cause us to overtake anything that challenges our willingness to serve you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh God, guide the words of our mouth and let them bear abundant fruit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yokes, chains, fetters, and bodies of our Father's house be broken and be destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any mistake of our parents will not become our tragedy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
and iniquity of our ancestors shall not cause us loss of anything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We place the cross of our Lord Jesus and his precious blood between us and any evil ancestors in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of our Lord Jesus flow through our family bloodline and wash away every ground of satanic attack against our destiny in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every evil pattern we've inherited from our family bloodline be destroyed by the blood of our Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every whirlwind of destruction flowing down our family trees, we purge and bury you now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every family pattern by which Satan pumps evil water into our families, die now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every terminator of our family bloodline fall down and die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O heavens arise, attack the powers of darkness, inhabiting the garment of our family bloodline. Pursue those wicked powers to destruction in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, send your angels of protection to encamp about every member of our family and to shield them from hurt, harm, and danger in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every sin that runs rampant in our families from generation to generation be terminated by the blood of our Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bind every evil influence reigning in our family with chains of fire. Every power in our person drawing our progress backward, die now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Foundational evil inheritance from our ancestors come out and vanish in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any dissension, quarrel, grudge, or confusion in our families, the blood of our Lord Jesus is against you, be destroyed and let the peace of God abide in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We call on the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go into the foundation of our family bloodlines. Wash us, redeem us, and deliver us from blood guiltiness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every covenant, promise, oath, vow, dedication, our ancestors have made with demonic beings and evil altars. We renounce each and all of them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command every future generation of our families to be released from every evil transaction that our ancestors have made. O earth open and swallow every spiritual hire, killer assigned and hired against our family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every evil arrow that penetrated our lives through our family bloodlines, reverse yourself and leave us healed, whole and well. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank God on this morning for his goodness and his kindness. Amen. For he has been good. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for who he is. We'll pray next day 26. Amen. From the 30 days of prayer. Prayer is the title 30 days of prayer, praise, and healing victory over the noise of pestilence. Uh, day 26. We stand against every attack of uh, evil spirits and the lives of the Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anything making the promise of God to fail in the lives of the Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church and the church worldwide, O oh Lord, we counsel them with the blood of our Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, let your divine favor be upon every member of the Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We receive fresh energy, fresh fire, and fresh power into every organ of our bodies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We disable every engagement with the spirit of death in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every dark prophecy, dark prayer, and dark wish against our well-being, we dash you to pieces in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, fill the faces of our aggressors with shame that they may seek your name 
Oh Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God shall destroy the camp of the enemy, and their camp shall never be built up. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God shall let us see our desire upon our enemies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hear our voices, O God. Preserve us from the fear of the enemies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hide us, O God, from the secret counsel of the wicked. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we should not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the air that flies by day. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we should not be afraid of 10,000 people that have set themselves against us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we cast on our pursuers as the dirt in the street. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we receive power to leap over every demonic wall. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we receive power to run through every satanic host. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, agenda of corrupt leaders of our land, we nullify with the blood of our Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you dark stronghold, in charge of sickness and disease in our land, fall down and die. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we use the blood of our Lord Jesus to sanitize our land and to cleanse it from every which sponsor sickness and disease. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you dragon power behind this pestilence. We bury you forever by the power and the blood of our Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, strong man behind this pandemic, we bind and cast you out of our nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank God for this opportunity to be together. Amen. This fourth Sunday in February. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We'll be back in the building. Fourth Sunday in three Wednesdays. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. The Lord is good. Amen. Amen. Come on, stand to your feet. Let's bless God on this morning for the Amen. many wonderful things that he has done. Amen. 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 He keeps on blessing us over and over yes. and over Thank again. Amen. 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 Let's sing a blood song this Thank morning. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Well, Amen. Amen. The Lord is good. Yes, it is. Amen. You ain't yes, got to look for it. You can just get your hand in front of your face. Yes. You know the Lord has been good. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. He's been kind as well. Yes. And yes. gracious yes. and full of compassion and mercy thank you, toward his children. Yes. Amen. Which is us. Amen. And we thank God for the saving power. Yes. Amen. And we still have access to every day of our lives. Yes. Amen. Amen. Never have to worry about where God is and how God stands uh -huh. in our situations. Amen. 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 The blood. Strength from 
of the land I feed thee. And a mansion in the sky I'll deed thee. And the high place Thou walkest by the way I'll lead thee on the fatness of the land I'll feed thee that's not all and I mention in the sky I will deed thee and the high place disciples. Yeah. We know the truth. Yes. It would make us free. So Father, we pray today for every yes, person sir. who will hear this lesson. I pray to God that you open their understanding, yes. open their hearts that they may receive from you. Yes. Less of us, O Holy Father. Less of us and more of you. Less of us, O Holy Father, until there is none of us and all of you. Yes. Not under us, but under your name, give glory, majesty, dominion, and power. Is our prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We do pray with thanksgiving. All agree with that prayer. Say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you for leading us in prayer this morning, Pastor. Amen. always to pray yes, sir. and not to faint. If you pray, you won't faint. Amen. But if you faint, you cannot pray. Amen. 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 Okay, I have a lot to say about prayer. And uh, yeah, we have a lot to say about prayer, but mm -hmm. I don't know if many people are talking about prayer really praying. <laughs> My Lord. Because, you know, we don't have to hear you pray for Amen. us if you're praying. Say it. Say it. Amen. I'm, yeah, I don't remember the last time I asked somebody to pray for me. And it is because I pray for myself. Amen. And, you know, I don't trust people like that. Amen. You know, some folk don't even believe the Bible in there. You don't believe the Bible, I don't, I don't ain't much praying you can do. Amen. 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 Well, you know, you can get sick and ask somebody to pray for you, and they, they say, Lord, take them out of their misery. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow. Bring them on home. Mm -hmm. As if the Lord is listening to that. Mm -hmm. He only hears his word. That's, that's all he's listening for. Thank wow. God. Thank God. Amen. I'm happy today. Oh, glory to God. I'm grateful to God. He's been so good to us. Amen. I know he does not have to be this good to be God. Because there are a lot of folk who serve another God. They don't do they God don't do nothing for them. Oh my. But he keeps us. Yes. And then he blesses us. And then he protects us. And he loves us. And he has mercy on us. And he 
is gracious toward us and he does not deal with us after that ugly act. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, it's a blessing that the Lord does not deal with us because of what we've done. Amen. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all, the Lord is good. I want to thank the Lord for saving me. And, and you know, I know that if he saved me, the Lord saved me, he can save anybody. And you know what else? He wants to save everybody. get in trouble, my thought is getting marched, and that ain't in your favor. Preach. The old preacher get hot, he preach all day. Amen. So y'all might need to make some adjustments or something. Amen. Unless y'all have brought your lunch. You brought your lunch, you don't have to do anything. Just turn it off. Amen. Just turn it off. Thank you so much. We good, Jimmy? You be there and back by the time you turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Amen. Well, things we used to do. Thank God, God got somebody to do it now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Children, we got something before us here today. And I'm praying that. Everyone will receive it. Amen. Uh, text main text is First Thessalonians five twenty three and twenty four. And of course, you know, we read the Bible at this church. Amen. 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 We don't. I don't listen to folk telling me how I ought to preach, especially when they didn't call me. Amen. Amen. They told us, you know, you only have one text. You have whatever. Mm. And that's why too many preachers don't read the Bible because they think they only got to have one text. Mm. And that's all they read. But you got to read what happened before that and what happened after that to get the picture. And sometimes you have to read the next book. Amen. Amen. And the book before that to get an understanding. He says, study to show yourself approved. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. First Thessalonians 5, 23, did I say that? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna read verse 23 and 24. I'm reading, you know, loose upon the King James Version. Sometimes I lead the these and thou's out. Sometimes I read them. And I wanna thank you for your patience with me. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, uh, completely. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 24, and this is the important verse. Faithful is he that calls you who also will do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Hallelujah. And you know, this confidence we have in God, that we ask anything according to his will, we know he hears us. Amen. And if he hears us, we know that we have petitions that we desire of him. Amen. So Paul prays here, right to the church of Thessalonica, that God would sanctify us completely. Yes. And he prayed that God would, our whole spirit, soul, and body would be preserved blameless. Mm -hmm. Until the Lord's return. Yes. And because he's asking what God wants him to ask, he says, Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the same like, Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. I want to talk today about me, myself, and I. Oh, my Lord God. <laughs> me, myself. And I. That is a phrase that I've heard all my life. From my childhood up, I've heard this phrase, me, myself, and I. And today, I want to talk about that. 
that there really is something to me, myself, and I. All right. And, and I'm going to say at the outset that my subject does not reference any song from the world. You know, they frame songs about me, myself, and I. They've had television shows about me, myself, and I'm not talking about any of that. Amen. My assignment today is to bring attention to what God's Word says about the persons that we really are. All right. Amen. Amen. And in an attempt to understand the human, too many scientists, psycholo psychologists, psychiatrists, theologians, and even Bible scholars only address human experience as body and soul. But the word of God does not divide man into the two parts of soul and body. All right. All right. The Bible treats us as something totally different as tripartite. Amen. Amen. That's a word, it just means three parts. Amen. Amen. Do the tri, that's three. Part tight. Amen? Amen. Everybody get that? Amen. That we are spirit, soul, and body. And to fail to distinguish between the spirit and the soul, it will stunt your spiritual growth. Mm. But they are not the same. All right. Amen. 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 We read it in Hebrews 4. 12, for the word of God is quick, powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword. We don't know about swords, we even know about lasers, though. Mm -hmm. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, meaning the word of God makes a distinction between soul and spirit, and the joints and marrow, meaning the body, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yes, sir. That the Bible <laughs> teaches us that there are three parts to us. Amen. That we, like God, are Trinity. Amen. Three in one. Yes, all right. Amen. Ain't hey, God all right? Yes, he that, is. That the Bible, God's word, it can divide the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow mm -hmm. and the Bible get this the Bible is a discerner mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> of the thoughts and the intents of the heart that if you read the book you'll get straight yeah. if you want if you want to live right if you, yeah. if you want to walk with the king amen mm -hmm. that uh, the, 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 the holy Bible the Bible itself the word of God will discern our thoughts, yes. it will discern the intents of our heart. Amen. Isn't that something? Amen. I said again that we are three part beings. Amen. Spirit, soul, and body. Say it with me. I'm spirit. spirit. I'm soul. I'm, soul. I'm body. I'm body. There really is something to me, myself, and I. <laughs> Tripartite beings. The text, the very God of peace, sanctify you wholly, completely, not just part of you. And I pray, God, your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless yeah. unto the coming of our Lord Jesus the Christ. And he's going to see to it if we will let him. Amen. Yeah. That the me, that's my body. The myself. That's my soul. Mm -hmm. The I, that's my spirit. All right. I say the me is my body. All right. You're involved in an automobile accident. If you're not careful, you're going to say they hit me. Mm -hmm. Didn't hit you, it hit the car. Right. The vehicle you were in. But that's how we reference ourselves. Right. Amen. 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 And then, you know, myself. That's that's the soul. That's we you know that's the selfishness that's in us. Are we are ridding ourselves of it? Mm, yes, sir. I didn't say we have rid ourselves. We are ridding. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. 
We're trying to get out of that self. Amen. Amen. And not be so selfish because that it, 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 it hinders our ability to minister to others Amen. when we are wrapped up in ourselves. Yeah. Amen. Now there really is something else going on in the world besides what I think. Mm. Amen. 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 See the spirit, that's my core. Amen. Amen. The Bible refers to it sometimes as the spirit, the heart, the belly out of the belly, the flow, rivers of living water. It's talking about your spirit. And when you talk about uh, the heart of a watermelon, the heart of a of a cantaloupe, you, you're not talking about the blood pump. No. You're talking about its center. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And, and and beloved, if if it ain't a watermelon in the sun, you ain't a watermelon at all. All right. <laughs> See, I know about watermelons. I know about cush y'all. Oh, no. Yes. Brought you back, didn't it? <laughs> that cushion yeah. from a distance, it looks just like a watermelon. Amen. But it's got a neck on it. Mm -hmm. And you can distinguish it just from the design. Amen? Amen. Amen. But my spirit, that's who I am. I'm, I'm a spirit being. I can say like God, no man has seen me at any time. All right. <laughs> you just see the house that I live in. Amen. Yes. Amen. That, that, that the innermost part of my spirit includes prayer, hope, faith, worship, and reverence. All right. Amen. That's the, that's the five senses of my spirit, if I can say it that way. My soul, that's my mental, emotional part that includes my mind, my will, my imagination, my emotions, my intellect, or my conscience. And that's what makes us unique from one another, mm -hmm. that none of us are the same. All right. Amen. Amen. Even if we think the same type of thoughts, we will word them differently All right. <laughs> and react to them differently. Yes, sir. That's what makes us unique is our soul. Amen. Amen. Then the body, that's the physical part. Everybody got that part figured out. Because with our bodies, we experience taste, smell, touch, and hearing. Amen? Amen. But now, Romans chapter number 7, 18, remember this. is for I know that in me, in my flesh, in my body, All right. that is in my flesh, yes. dwells no good thing. No good thing. For yes. the will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. In other words, it's constantly escaping me. Hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Our text today, the very God of peace, he's the only one that's able to do this, you know. He's the only one that can keep us. He's the only one that can present us. He's the only one that can clean us. He's the only one who can get us ready. Amen? Amen. Amen. The very God of peace, sanctify you holy. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus the Christ. See, the Bible never confuses spirit and soul as though they're not the same. Mm -hmm. But they are not the same. The word of God does not divide man into two parts. The Bible divides man into three parts. Three in one. Amen. 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 The Bible treats it as that word that I gave you, tripartite spirit, soul, and body. Amen. And if you fail to distinguish spirit, soul, and body, it can hurt and hinder your spiritual maturity. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 4.12, again, for the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner right. of the thoughts and intents of the heart. See, my soul, that's the result of my spirit and body coming together. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis 2, 7, the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, 
that's what caused the soul to come about. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And we have a threefold nature. The real man, the real woman is spirit. They have a soul. And that spirit lives in a flesh body. Flesh and blood and body. That's where we live. Amen. Amen. But now the most important job the spirit has is to bring the soul and the body into obedience to God. It's not an easy task. It's not an easy task because, you know, we're born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Well, Pastor, that just ain't fair. You hear? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You're, a little, you're a little late with that evaluation. Amen. All right, all right. It's not just you. It's me. It's all of us. Yeah. Amen. Not y'all, but all have all sinned yeah. and come short of the glory of God. But now the most important job the soul has is to communicate to the body mm. what the spirit has called on the soul and the body to do. All right. See, the spirit... My spirit, that's my God consciousness. Right. And my spirit really wants a relationship with God. All right. My spirit is kind of in turmoil when I get him in the wrong place. Yeah. Yeah. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help that the most important job for the spirit, I say again, is to bring that soul and that body into obedience to God. Yeah. You know, Many times we just don't want to do right. Mm, no to do what's right. Yes. Just don't yes, want sir. to do yes, what's right. All right. And 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 that body is gonna to respond to whatever direction it gets from the soul. Amen. Amen. As a man thinketh in his heart, right. thinks in his mind, thinks in his soul, so is he. All right. So it's 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 not a body problem. You see folk doing crazy stuff. And boy, we live in a world that is so jacked up. Man. Yes, sir. I mean, you know, you almost they turn on the television. You want to know something's going on somewhere. And the, the, the evening news is just as lewd as all this other craziness. Yes, sir. Amen. And who's got the who's got the, the, the dumbest story? Who has the nastiest story? Yeah. Help us, Lord Jesus. Yeah. But now the most important job that the body has is to keep the spirit on the planet All right. until it wears out or something tragic happens and they get separated. All right. That's what we call death. Okay. When these three parts, spirit, soul, and body cooperate, you'll meet a new person. Okay. You'll meet a new person who can do greater works than our Lord Jesus Christ. All right. Somebody say that's the goal. That's you see, with my spirit, I contact the spirit realm. All right. And I don't, those are the only realms I want to deal with today is the spirit realm and the natural realm. All right. You know, grew up thinking that the spirit realm was somewhere beyond the blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someplace high in the sky. Yeah, yeah. But just natural science kind of refutes that. Yes. So where is the spirit realm? Mm. Praise where is it? Yeah. Right here. Right here. Yes, sir. Little babies can see mm -hmm. yeah. what's going on. I mean, you know, they 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 lose their innocence. That's what we call it innocence. But they're in the presence. They by that they don't they, they, they don't care about us. Oh, be over here or over there. They good. Yeah. Amen. They're not afraid of death. Anything like that. Amen. The spirit realm is right here. Yeah, amen. How many times you had the experience where uh, you had a spiritual experience. I'm going to define it for you. That's what it was. It was a spiritual experience where you were with the Lord. Hmm. He was talking to you. You were in worship and you thought maybe you had been in worship two hours and then you look at the time and it's only 30 minutes have passed. Yes. You yes. crossed over. Yes. That's what happened. Yes. I remember some years ago, uh, Linda Sampson's 50th birthday, she wanted to go 
to Pastor Henderson in uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana. <laughs> Amen. Like we have fun with that word Charles, you know. Anyway, the Lord told me pray. Okay. Always pray my traveling prayer, you know. And then he said, I told you to pray. Okay, so I, I'm driving and praying. And he said, slow down. I slow down, and I pass by one of the ministers, ministers of the law. I said, oh, man, good looking out, Lord, thank you. He dodged that one, so I picked up my speed. He said, I told you to slow down. And here, I'm, I'm looking at my rearview mirror, and all I can see is blue lights flashing. I'm in Louisiana, I'm on Louisiana side. All I can see in my mirror, rear view mirror, is blue lights flashing. And like they were coming really fast. And sure enough, it was a, a, one of those, what you call those things? Chasers? Uh, police chase. Huh? Police chase. Yeah, police chase. Yeah, that's what it was. And they threw out the thing to make his tires go flat. But before he could get to it, our car went over. My Lord. Blew the tires out. Lord yeah, that was a mess. Yeah. But this guy that they were chasing, when he passed by me, it was like I got caught in a moment of time. Mm. And I looked at him, and he looked at me. Oh, and I'm thinking, well, he couldn't have been driving that fast. But I come to find out from the policeman that this guy was traveling 110 miles an hour. I crossed over. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. See, the, the enemy, he wants to destroy you. Yeah. That's right. And do you know that same enemy went right on up 10 to California and a past another lady pastor in Beaumont, Texas, lost her life Lord. the next day. Some of you may remember it. Amen. But God keeps us children. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And sometimes it's like he snatches us to him. Yeah. Yeah. To protect us. That's what one of those, that's what that day was. Yes. You know, looking back and learning since that time what was really going on. Yeah. Ain't God all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But now when the spirit, soul, and body cooperate. I'm going to say this again. Mm -hmm. You'll meet a new person that Jesus was talking about when he said, greater work than these shall you do yes. because I go to my Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. But now, here's a problem. If and when we ignore our spirit, mm -hmm. we will never come to a place of understanding. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you don't ever understand spirit, soul, and body, that you're a tripartite being. That's more to you than just soul and body. You'll never see and understand what God wants you to do. Yeah. You'll never understand who he wants you to be. Mm -hmm. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord Jesus. You see, beloved, what God has for us to do and who he wants us to be and what he wants us to have is connected to a born-again spirit. Now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an old Baptist. I sure am. Amen. I passed the independent church. Been doing that for quite some time now. But I believe what I was taught. Once in Christ, never out. See, because what I know is, you know, you, you can be born. Mm -hmm. And I know that you can physically die. Yeah. But it is a dis distinct impossibility for you to become unborn. Once you're born again, you know, folk like to try to, you know, say you backslid and you did this and you shouldn't have done that. Uh, all that's true. But what I want to remind us this morning that I don't care what you do, you can't change what Jesus did. Amen. You can't change what the Holy Ghost did when he baptized you into Jesus. That's the, that's the baptism that saves us. How can he preach and be an alcoholic? Same way you can be disobedient and act a fool. All right, all right. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. See, Jesus said, don't judge. 
you know, we, we talk about it in prosperity, you know, that uh, what you give, the law will return to you. Uh, give and it shall be given on you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall man eat into your do bosom. Acts, not Acts, but Luke 6, 38. Amen. We used to talk about prosperity, but the paragraph, the context, Jesus was talking about don't judge. Yes. I can't help but to look at what I see. Yeah. That's observation. Yeah. But when I decide something needs to happen to you because of what I see, that's judging. Don't yeah. do it. Stay out of it. Old Testament, Isaiah 64, verse 4. Isaiah 64, verse 4 says, well, Since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither have the eye seen. O God, beside thee, what he hath prepared for him that waits for him. New Testament pretty much says the same thing. It's not a direct translation of it, but it's the sense of it. Yeah, all right. See, the Old Testament is the root. New Testament is the fruit. The Old Testament conceals what the New Testament reveals. Yeah, all right. You can't have one without the other. You know, you folks go, well, I'm living in the New Testament. No, you're not living in the New Testament. Mm. I hope you're living in Jesus. All right. I hope you're living in the Lord. I hope your steps are ordered by the Lord. Because, you know, if you want to take, you know, folk want to take stuff out and say, well, we don't have to do that. Look, well, you're going to throw one part away, you got to throw it all away. Right. The Lord can't be your shepherd. Mm. He can't be your protector. None of those things. Right. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help us, help us. We preach whole counsel of God over here. Amen. First Corinthians 2, verses 9 through 16, you'll see these words. But as it is written, I have not seen. You hear the similarity? Nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Mm. Now that's where most folks stop. Yeah. And that's where they miss it. It's right there in the very next verse, verse 10. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. Yes. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. But what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Yes. Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. So it's, it's, you see here, he has to reveal it to us. Mm -hmm. Now we have received. Yes. That's those of who accepted the Lord Jesus as our personal Savior. Not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us. Are you getting this? That if you don't get it in your spirit, you ain't going to get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 Look at the body. Sense consciousness. See if we can't really learn this stuff. All right. Get it down into our spirit. The body, the flesh, that sense consciousness. Mm -hmm. The Bible refers to it as the body, refers to it as flesh. It also refers to it as carnal. But here's the thing. Even though we're born in sin and shaped in iniquity, that does not mean we're lost cause. All right. yeah. Amen. Because God is not willing to vanish your parents, yeah. but that all should come to repentance. Hallelujah. So in the Bible, it's referred to again, I say, as the body, as flesh, as carnal. The mouth gate. And that's, what I'm gonna, that's how I'm styling these things, oh, these right. senses as gates. See, because, you know, Satan can't get in unless you need the gate open. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yes. The mouth gate, that's taste. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, if you need that gate open, <laughs> oh, then the Bible says, guard your heart. Yeah. Now, that means every part of you guard it. Watch it. They used to teach us to sing a song. All you know, those songs were instructional. Amen. In uh, in the church where we grew up, be careful in your mouth what you say. The Father of love, He's looking down on you. Be careful in your mouth what you say. Be careful if you ears what you hear. <laughs> the Father of above is looking down on you, so be careful in your ears what you hear. Be careful in your mouth what you taste. <laughs> They were instructing us. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. That mouth gate again 
Remember, it's taste. The nose gate. Now, and the spirit, the soul, and the body all each have these same gates. All right. Okay? The mouth gate for my body is taste. The nose gate for my body is smell. The eye gate, of course, is sight. That's the eye of the body. Then the feel gate, that's the sense of touch. And then there's an ear gate. We know that's hearing. Amen? Amen. Paul writes to Corinthian church, 1 Corinthians 3, verses 1 through 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. He says, and I, brethren, could not speak unto you as spiritual. Anybody getting a clue here? I, I couldn't talk to you as I would talk to somebody who knows that they have a spirit. All right. That they are more than soul and body. But as unto the carnal, natural, sense consciousness. Does anybody understand me? Even as unto babes in Christ. So he's not talking to sinners. He's talking to folk who have been saved. Amen? But they've not grown. And not knowing that you are a spirit being will hamper, will hinder your spiritual growth. All right. Amen? Amen? Listen to this. He says, I have fed you with milk mm -hmm. and not with meat. For hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are you able. Oh my. For you are yet carnal, you still stuck on soul and body. Mm. And you walk, and I want to insert here, as unsaved men. Y'all get that? Amen. See, Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. You know how we do that over here, right? To open our spirit so you can receive. Amen. If you are not in contact with your spirit, it's hard for you to get in contact with God because He is spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Now let's look at the soul. The soul, that's the natural, that's self consciousness. Self consciousness. 1 Corinthians 2 14. But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God. Do you see this? But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God. Why? Because they are foolishness to him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Amen? Amen. Amen. See, some teach that uh, the battlefield is in our mind. And, and I understand what they mean, but that's only part of the battle. The real battle is going on not just in my mind, but the battle is really going on in my soul. All right. My mind, my will, my imagination, my emotions, and my intellect. That's where the battle is going on. Amen. Are you receiving this teaching? Amen. Understand, beloved, that the mind, that's just part of it. We've got other stuff to deal with here. Yeah. Amen? Amen. See, the mouth gate for the soul is my mind. That's just part of it. Mm -hmm. that's, where I, that's where I reason. That's where I compare facts. Where I understand truths. Where I compare truths. Amen? Amen. See, so just like the mouth gate, I can taste. Mm -hmm. With the mouth gate to my soul, it's my mind is where I compare facts. Amen. I understand what I read, what I hear. Amen? Amen. Amen. And that's self-consciousness, and it's natural all the time. The Bible refers to it as the soul, as the life, as the mind. Luke 8, 35. Luke 8, chapter 8, verse 35. Then they went out to see what was done, and came to Jesus and found the man, out of whom the devils were departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, Clothed, comma, and in his right mind. Glory to God. <laughs> and they were afraid. You know, yeah. I say that that way because you know some folks they, they think it reads 
that he was, now the Lord woke me up this morning, I was clothed in my right mind. They, they say he was clothed, he had some clothes on because he was always naked. But the Lord cast the devils out of him. Now he has some clothes on and he's in his right mind. <laughs> Amen. Luke 12, 43. <clears throat> Luke 12, 43. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Understanding what's going on around you. Amen. Amen. Now, beloved, here's a scripture I'm going to, I'm going to that, that's, that's very familiar, and I learned it early. Philippians 2 5. I got too much to try to give you all today. I'm going to do my best to get through it, and then I, if I don't, we'll work with it another time. How about that? Amen. 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 This is what it says Let this man. Be in you, mm -hmm. which is also in Christ Jesus. Yes. Now, let me read the, the scriptures before that, back up to verse number one. If that be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any Bibles and mercies, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. But in the lowliness, lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, mm -hmm. but every man also on the things of others. And then there's the verse, let this mind be in you, which is in Christ Jesus. Yeah. That when we make this effort that Paul's talking about here in this context, we make the effort really to try to be compassionate toward others mm -hmm. and not compare ourselves to others, Amen. but rather esteem them as better than ourselves. All right. Yes, sir. Yes. Your education means nothing. It don't mean nothing. Mm. It was for you. Say it. Say it. Whatever education you have, it was for you. Whatever you know, it's for you. Amen. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord Jesus. And I don't need a me. Amen. Uh, thinking because an engineer can't preach that he's dumb mm -hmm. because I can't draw schemes. All right. <laughs> All right. Is everybody understanding what I'm saying? Yeah. That what I really need, if, if, if I'm going to find anything in Christ, mm -hmm. if there be any consolation in Christ, if, if I get any comfort of love, if if I get any fellowship of the Holy Ghost, if I ever get down to, to, to really having bowels and of mercy, yeah. I mean, in my gut, caring about people. Yes, sir. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord. If I'm going to do that, I, I've got to get on one accord. That does not mean i got to think like you. All right. But it means that i got to give my thinking over to the thoughts of Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me, Lord Jesus. And in lowliness of mind, we're trying to discover who I'm better than, but just going and selling once and for all oh, y'all better than me. All right, all right. Well, what does that do? Are you dumbing yourself down? That's not dumbing yourself down. It's about being compassionate. It's about being in love with yes, folk. Yes. By caring for people like Jesus did. And if we let this yes. mind be in us that was in Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. We'll keep our spirits open. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My mind got to be renewed with the word of God. Yes. Romans 12. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Romans 12, verses 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, you present your bodies mm -hmm. a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Well, how am I going to do that? Next verse. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove yes, sir. what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. The nose gate of the soul is my will. It detects good and evil. Now, some say and even believe that the will of God is automatic, you know. 
Oh, child, you can't change God's will. It, God's will going to be done. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. I wish it could. I wish it would. Yeah. But do you know why? It's not because there's a stronger will mm. than God's will. My Lord. <laughs> My Lord. But that don't even make sense, does it? Mm. But yet there is a will yeah. that's stronger than God's will. Help me, Lord Jesus. And that's self-will. Yes, sir. See, because what I want to do makes more sense to me yeah. than what God wants me to, my, my, to do. My. That, 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 that who I want to be is more important to me yeah. than what God wants me to be. See, because I, it, it, his, his way is just too slow anyhow. I mean, you know, yeah. man, you got to go through all these changes, man. You got to deal with folks, you know, like, and I ain't got time for all that. Yeah, yeah. That's self-will. You really want to hear self-will, self-will at its height? Hear this phrase. I don't care what nobody say. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> you ought to care what somebody say. Yes, Amen. 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 Help us, Lord Jesus. Help us. And, 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 and let me add at this point that God has one will. He has one will that cannot be altered. And it's not going to be altered by our will and unwillingness to obey God. See, some people think that uh, they got it like this, that they don't have to do what God says, but they do something close to it. Oh my. Oh my Jesus. I mean, when the Lord says, open the window, oh, he wants to get some air here and you go open the door. You haven't obeyed God. Amen. Because the air God was going to bring in was coming through the window, not the right. door. Is anybody yes, listening to me? Yes, yes. See, there's no such thing. Catch hold to yourself right quick. Hold yourself tight, tight, tight. There's no such thing as God's permissive will. Oh my. It ain't in the Bible. No, you no. find God's permissive will in the Bible, I'll eat it. Mm. It's not that. No, sir. We made that up. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. folks told me because I heard it, you know, even when I heard it, I said, oh, little boy, is this God's permissive will? I'm talking about what, what, what that mean? Yeah. I mean, I didn't really understand God's will as I do now, nor as I did later, but as a little boy, six years old, it, it didn't make sense to me that God's going to permit me, permit me to do something stupid, yeah. but just because I want to do that. No. See, I had a daddy. His yes was yes, his no was no. No, with his boys, you know. He ain't mean nothing but my sister, you know. I don't know nothing about raising no girl, God bless us. I know about raising boys. <laughs> <laughs> but if he told his boys no, that was it. You don't need to talk to dear about nothing. It's not a topic for discussion. And you see, I learned the fear of the Lord walking with my daddy. All right, all right. He didn't play. All right. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Again, I say there's no such thing as God but Mrs. Will. See, because you're more committed to yourself than you are to God's will. Oh, my. And you haven't heard God say anything. Mm -hmm. That does not mean that everything is good. See, God told you to do one thing. You, he told John, go, go, go north. He takes all south, opposite direction. Yeah. I'm not talking about the Bible. I'm just using the illustration. Yeah. Yeah. He goes in the opposite direction. When he told me to get on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody getting this? Amen. God speak to you, tell you what to do, and you try to figure out a way that you can do it. You get caught up with semantics. Now, did he really? Say, yeah. go that way or what's that mean? Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. <laughs> Just because he ain't saying nothing, that don't mean everything good. That don't mean me and God is good. Amen. That don't mean that. See, let me tell you what I know about. I know about having a conversation with God in the last few years. All right. And, and all told, maybe 25 words between the two of us. And he, and, and he didn't start talking again until I said yes. Mm. 
Oh, man, I can tell you some stories. I can tell you some stories. When, 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 when God sent me to pull out the Texas back in 1977, I said I wasn't going to go. I was on that Winnie Highway between Port Arthur and Winnie. And that big deuce in the quarter say, I, I ain't going no more. There was one thing about Buick, you know, they could run hot and let them cool off and drive them to California. No one mention. Not another lesson at no time. <laughs> but you know what happened? See, out down that Winnie Highway, you know, the mosquitoes looked like they were almost big as my hand. Not really, you know, just exaggerate, but they was they were way too big for mosquitoes. They had to have another name. They looked, right. looked like little mosquito dragons or something. <laughs> and I'm out there, and when no one was stopped, and I got my little wife and my little my little son in the car, and nobody was stopped. And the Lord said, I told you to go for it, huh? Well, see, you don't understand, Lord. Them crazy folks go over there, some other choice words and all. Couldn't say what I want to say because I'll talk to the Lord. Amen. Yeah, you talking to the Lord, you can't use some words you can't use. You've got good sense, you know. I ain't talking to the Lord, you know. But do you not know? No one would stop to help me until I said, yes, yeah, that's Lord. Mm. Now, this is up in the day, like 4 o'clock. And it's dark now. Mm. No one had stopped giving me assistance. There wasn't no cell phones and none of that stuff. Amen. And a truck coming from the opposite direction pulls over the side of the road. Evening, brother. You having trouble over there? <laughs> <laughs> and I told him the car stopped on the whatnot. Well, come on. Let's get in the truck and let's go up here to win and see if we can't get something straight here. Get something dead. See, my problem was, I didn't want to do what the Lord wanted me to do. All right. Amen. I'm out there on the highway by myself with my little family, and the Lord hits me in my chest. Boom! I said, I want you to go to Port Arthur. Mm. And bless my soul, do you know I finally finagled my way out of that place? I sure did. <laughs> and 20 years later, I'm talking about how long conversations can last. Yes. Y'all can listen to what I'm saying. Yes. And, and, and he just say one word. And then you try to play like you don't know what he's talking about. All right. Come on. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. See, anybody who claims that they're in God's permissive will, they're in open defiance to God's voice. Yes. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. See, God is quiet. I'm telling you again. You're doing what you want to do. You think you're in the safety zone. Uh-uh. Because God's not talking does not mean he pleased. As a matter of fact, when he's quiet, you need to get quiet too. And pray that he will say something. Because yes. what I know about him, he ain't going to talk to you till you ready. Mm. Help us, Lord Jesus. The beloved, our Lord gives us an example of willingness. In the Garden of Gethsemane, mm. he, he prays. Yes, sir. And, and, and it appears on the surface that he's trying to pray his way out of this. Mm. But he says, if, 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 if you could, could we do this uh, some on. other way? Come on. Mm. Come on. Is yeah. there something else we can do to accomplish yes. this end? Is yes. there something else that I can do besides go to this cross. Yes. I mean, I knew I had to come, but have you, did you, did you know, did you, did you, I've been down here all this time. Did you come up with something different? I'm, 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 I'm doing my talk like I want to do it, okay? Yeah. Yeah. But he says, not my will. But see, the reason I say like he's trying to pray the way out of it, because he prays the same prayer three times yeah. and ends with one thing, not what I will. Yeah, Lord. Yeah. Nevertheless, Always the more. Yes, sir. Help me, Lord Jesus. Not my will. Yes, sir. But your will be done. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, if you be willing, let this cup pass from me. Yes. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Not my will. Mm. And your will be done. And I want to tell you something, brothers and sisters. 
that, that, that my will has to get lost in God's will. Yes, sir. Hear me today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How, how that going to happen? Just take your will and throw it over there mm -hmm. in his will. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know how you, you ever throw anything in the woods? Mm -hmm. you know, I didn't like butter beans. Never did. Never shall. <laughs> I don't understand them. I don't even know why God even got them things on the planet. Like you swallow in your mouth. I don't care how you cook it, it's just nasty. Ugh! <laughs> and I never ate them. My mother would cook them and everybody else eat. And you know, I was I you know I was I was always, you know, a sickly child with stomach problems and all that stuff. So it was always easy for me to be the last one at the table. And uh, I had my newspaper in my back pocket. Put them beans in that newspaper, wrap it up, and I go walk through the woods and throw it over out. Y'all never, y'all ain't never threw nothing into the woods. Thank you. I got one. I got one. See, because you ain't intending on trying to find it. That's my whole point. You don't, you don't put no mark of where it is. You just throw your will into His will. Let and let it get lost. Yes. Oh, God, help us today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, 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 see. When, when you discover God's will and it's in his word, just throw your will in his. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 And you're talking about a difference in your life? Mm. Can I tell you this today? That, you know, God's will, it may look difficult. It may look hard. You can figure out how you're going to do it. But I'm telling you today, if your will gets lost in his, you will discover that his way was the best way all along. All along. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, I got to let y'all go. Jesus. The eye gate, the eye gate, the eye gate. The eye gate, that's my imagination. That's the eye of the soul. See, my, 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 my imagination has to be sanctified. To keep the body out of trouble. All right. Cause boy, do you know we can think up some stuff? Mm. Do y'all know that the smartest, some of the smartest folk in the world are in penitentiary? Mm. Mm. Amen. I mean, man, they're just naturally smart. They can figure stuff out. But they got caught because somebody was praying for them. All right. All right. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, no. Did anybody hear what I said? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boy, I hear my mother and I Reuben. The Lord can't use your passion. <laughs> oh my God, boy. She, it, was, it was like a song. Reuben, the Lord can't use your passion. How does she know what I'm doing? All right. She wasn't with me. All right. Oh my God. I remember one morning in, in Dallas, Texas, my son woke up and, and, and his mother got up that morning and walked in that room and put her finger in his face and said, oh my God, this boy going to die. I mean, she read his towel, told him everything he had planned to do that day. I feel sorry for you, son. I do, God know. I feel so sorry for you, but it wasn't nothing I could do. But when God tell it on you, whoo, ain't no escape. <laughs> You see, your imagination can run away with you. Yes, sir. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Field gate, that's my emotions. I'll, be, I'm, I'll come back and work, I'm gonna work it out, but let me give them to you. Field gate, that's my emotions. That's the affections. And the Bible teaches us, set your affections on things above and not on things in earth. You Amen. can control your emotions. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your eyes look another way. Put your spirit in charge. Emotion is a response sense. You ain't got to do what it tells you to do. Amen. Amen. Look to Jesus. Look to his word. Yes. The bad behavior is not just the way you are. We can change. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can do better. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. The ear gate. The ear gate. That's, that's my intellect. Hallelujah. That's, 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 that's how I reason things. And our, our God says in Isaiah 118, come now, let us reason together. Yes, sir. Say the Lord of hosts. See how, 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 how we get control 
of our lives and put our spirits in control. You see how it keeps going back, back to the word? Because that's the only way I can assess the spirit realm is with the word of God. Yes, it ain't listening for what I got to say. Yeah. Even the angels are listening for the word of the Lord before they move. Yes, sir. Yes. See, our natural intellect can't always be trusted, you know. Mm -hmm. We really don't know Amen. all of what we think we know. Amen. But I know somebody. Yes, sir. I know somebody who knows everything. Yes, <laughs> yes. He, he's omniscient. He, yes. he knows everything. He's omnipotent. He's all powerful. He's omnipresent. He's everywhere present at the same time. He always knows everything about everywhere you go and he has the power to do what you can never do. Thank you, man. Man. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God saying today, <laughs> you're at the right place yes, sir. when you come to me. Yes. I like the way me son says, say, let's work it out. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> That's what God is saying. Let's work it out. Yeah. I can't go further this morning. God bless your heart and I thank you for listening to me today. But you can work it out. Yes, sir. Yeah. I like the way my son said, he said yeah. if, if, if you're a crook, God wants to have a relationship with you. Yes. And I get, God just may be the only person that really yeah. wants to have a relationship with you. But what I want you to know is that when you have a relationship with him, everything, everything. gets yeah. hooked up. But when you have a relationship with him, everything smooths out. Yeah. When you have a relationship with him, things get lighter. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. God had you to listen today. He had you to come today because he knew I was going to talk about this. Amen. Amen. And that beloved, you, Lord. it's all about a relationship with him. Yes, sir. You yes. can't have a flesh relationship with him. Mm -hmm. He ain't even like that. I remember trying to get closer to God years and years and years ago, and I was smoking a cigarette, and I offered him a hit. Mm. Yeah, really. He said, I don't want that. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. See, because we think that God will get involved with our stuff. He does not. And that's how I was able to just quit. They ain't had no nigger derm or none of that stuff way back then. Yeah. Glory God. I just stopped. <laughs> and he had a cigarette set. Tobacco cigarette, y'all, but I tell you, people. Amen. God bless y'all so. I didn't grow up with marijuana. I ain't saw a marijuana joint till I was a grown man. But I want to tell you that God wants to have a relationship with you. Amen. And his relationship is one that makes everything really all right. Amen. There's a way that seems right to a man. Mm. But the end of that yeah, is destruction. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's another way. Mm. In the Old Testament, he says, here are two doors. Yeah. Here's life, here's death. And he doesn't let you guess yeah. because he doesn't yeah. want you to trust luck. Yeah. He just said, you choose life so that you and your children can live. Yes, Lord. In the New Testament, he says, we got to got a fork in the road here. Mm. Here's the broad way. Here's the yeah. narrow way. Yeah. That one looks attractive, but he doesn't leave it to you to try to figure out what you ought to do. Yes, he right. says, check the narrow way. Yes. It ain't many really folks only, but these are the folks who are coming away. I want to say to you today, give yourself to Jesus. You don't have much time. Mm. Give yourself to Jesus. He can make your life absolutely sublime. What's that, yeah. Pastor? Yes, sir. Oh, man, that's sweetness. Yeah. That's joy. Yeah. I mean, man, I wake up in the morning, ain't nobody told you nothing, but you just feel good. Yeah. Just grateful to see another day. Yes, sir. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. And I want to make a appeal to you today to give your life to Jesus. Yeah, yeah. How do I do that? Well, the Bible says that if you believe in your heart and confess in your mouth that the Lord Jesus died for you, that he rose from the dead for you, that you be saved. Well, why do I need to be saved? Well, you real lost mm -hmm. if you don't know why you need to be saved. Lord. 
you are too lost. Yeah. And it's you especially that I want to talk to right now. Yes, sir. That you need Jesus. Nothing ain't going to ever work for you. You keep hitting that dead end because you're traveling the wrong road. And all you have to do is just, just ask the Lord to come into your life. When you say, well, I don't know how to pray, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I can, I can give you the words if you believe it in your heart. Pray this prayer with me. Dear God, Dear God I know without Jesus I'm lost. I, Jesus, I'm lost. I believe your word. I believe your word. And if I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in my heart, God is raising from the dead. I shall be saved. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my life right now. I receive you by faith as my Lord and Savior. I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I'm sorry for my sin. And I thank you for your forgiveness. Come, Holy Father. Come Lord, Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Sit, on Sit on the throne of my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. So I can serve you the rest of my life. Jesus, I confess. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm a child of God. Nothing will ever be the same again. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now listen Amen. to me. You prayed that prayer. You meant it. I want you to know that's how you're saved. If somebody asks you, how do you know you're saved? You tell them, I asked the Lord to save me. And he said he would. And I know I am. Now listen to me. You need a church. Oh God, you need a church that can feed you with knowledge and understanding. They got a pastor that can feed you with knowledge and understanding. I'd be delighted, Pastor Sam would be delighted to have you a part of this church. And we live in that day and age where you can be a part of a church that not even where you live. If you want to become a part of this church, we'd be happy for you to do that. You can go to gtc.org gdcfc.org and you can click on membership and you can fill out that form and we will accept you as a member of this church. We will give you on that. You will see the benefits of membership and all of that. And listen to me. You need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. You need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Ask the Lord. Right that way you are. Ask him. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's how you receive the Holy Ghost. Just ask. And you shall receive. Thank you for being a part of the service today. Thank you. On Facebook, we're about to leave. Of course, you know I'm grateful to see all of you here this morning. Amen. Thank God for you. Got some good news Amen. for you in a minute as soon as we go off. Thank God for you being with us today. Amen. And we pray for you. You got a special prayer request, send it to us. You can do it online through Facebook. You can do it on our website. However you want to do that, if you want any of the prayers that we pray, all you have to do is request it. You can do it that on Facebook. Don't put your uh, email address out there live. Put it in that, that what you call that thing, that DM, that messenger. Amen. And we will certainly respond to you. God bless Amen. us. God keep us. Make us perfect in every good work.